Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new series. Now I woke up this morning and I searched online for survival build games, okay? And this one was recommended, re recommended. It's not out yet, but you can buy it via early access on Steam. It's called Rebuild Free. I'll put all the information in the description below, etc. And I don't know if it's any good yet, um, but I thought I would play it for the first time on video and upload it and see what you guys think. Now, the way this game works is it's a strategy game where you start off, zombies have taken over the, like, the, the planet, I guess, and you have to make decisions to rebuild fortifications and your town, build apartments and rebuild civilization. So it says you'll decide between farms or fortifications, housing or hospitals. You'll make tough decisions to fend off razors, raiders, razors. It's going to be little miniature razors coming to try and shave you. No, it's not like that. Illness, starvation and madness. And the dead are still out there wandering the streets. So I bought it. I thought it would be quite cool to try and play. This is the first time I'm playing it. Now I have turned off the music. Okay, for copyright reasons, etc. The beginning of the end. So begins my new life in Seattle, Washington. Now for a fun day waiting for the cable guy to come connect the internet. I've got a couple of TV channels, but all they're showing is news about that crazy biting disease in Amsterdam. Sounds like they finally got it contained. Guess I'll unpack, take a shower, and enjoy some me time. Oh, okay, so we get to make ourselves. So let's make my... Uh, now, I, I'm going to make myself, I was tempted to make Lina Ritchie, but I'm not going to do it. Gender, we can change the gender, which is great. Uh, well, we want a man, obviously. Um, but I did see quite a cool man uh, back there. I guess he'd be okay for now. There we go. Uh, skin, so we can change our skin colour. Well, I am naturally very tanned. So, there. L look at that. Like... It's like I'm on constantly on holiday. Uh, body, we want. Uh, well, I'm naturally quite buff, so I think that's perfect. Uh, head, we can, that hat's in the way, which is a bit irritating, but it's cool. It's a nice hat, so it's all good. It's all fine. Um, I think that that looks a bit like me. Okay, cool. Torso. Let's go for a nice... Oh, that ripped shirt looked pretty cool. It makes me look like I've done quite a lot. Um, and we'll go with the... The blue jeans. I've got a little cut on my leg because I've been proactively outside. Uh, pol oh, we get to choose our job. Okay, politician. You've got good leadership and one extra survival. Your equipment is a top hat. You can be a shop clerk. Scavenging... Uh, Oh, you're better at scavenging and 25% better trades. You get a crowbar for equipment. That looks so much like me as well. Doctor, plus engineering and minus one day to injury. Uh, recovery equipment. You get a doctor's bag. This is pretty hard, actually. Retiree plus building. So I build better. I like that one because then we could build fortifications, walls and stuff like that. You get plus 10 happiness bonus and a hammer. I'm tempted... Oh, police officer. You get plus defense and plus one from all guns. This is so hard, actually. I just changed my legs accidentally. A priest. You get plus leadership, church, and devout survivors. You get a megaphone. A hobo. You get plus housing space and a backpack. A college student. Engineering, schools, and bars. Okay. Construction worker, plus building and half material costs. A gang member. Okay, well, I, you guys comment in the comment section below what one you would pick and what one you think is best. Um, I'm going to go for the retiree um, because he's happy. Although, although you know what? I'm going to go for... Yeah, retiree because he'd have a lot of wisdom, wouldn't he? he he'd have gone through life... He'll be quite wise, etc. But comment below what one you would pick and why. Okay, because I'm intrigued to see which one you would pick. March 5th, 2014. This is a year ago. Um, so I'm still alive a year later. So that's good. Positive thing. Spoiler alert. The internet guy never came. <gasps> 
This morning I woke up to what I thought were protesters outside, but I was wrong. So very, very, very wrong. They're fighting in the street down there, with their hands and teeth just tearing into people. I saw a cop shoot a woman in the chest, covered in blood. She just got up and kept fighting. Look at me with my little torch and my little hammer. Ah, I bought that from B&Q. That's a home bait. They're like, that's a home store. On the news, they're telling us to stay indoors. I like the artwork. I like, I like the whole story element. It's pretty cool. It's getting me in the mood. Hopefully the game's good. They keep opening emergency shelters, but every time something goes wrong and it turns into another bloodbath, this infection is spreading so fast, it's in Vancouver, San Francisco. They've shut the airports, but it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. That wasn't the video repeating itself. That was me reading the script, guys. I ran out of ramen and soda. I like, I like, uh, ramen. Like... Yeah, I like that, and I like soda as well, but, um, pretty cool. So this is actually me. They know me too well. The time the TV cut out, it was finally quiet outside, so I took what survival gear I had and made my way out onto the street. The last shelter they'd broadcast was ten blocks away, at a boys' private school. I made it halfway before I was attacked. Now, the game's not all reading, by the way, guys, okay? This is just setting it up, okay? Don't get angry. Uh, don't, don't turn into zombies. It was so stupid, I don't know why I didn't have a weapon ready. I guess I thought I could outrun them. I mean, since they're zombies and all, but they're faster than they look. While I was struggling with one of them, a soldier ran up and pulled it off me. He shot it in the head. That stopped it, but it was too late. Too late. Too late. <laughs> I was bitten. The so if I release one of these videos too late, that is going to be in the comment section, isn't it? The next part is too late. Too late. Too late. The soldier pulled me into a building. Oh, this is exciting. Hopefully he's our friend. And we waited there while the zombies wandered around outside. Then he saw my bite. I've been bitten? Holy crap. He drew his gun and said he was going to make it quick. I knew what the bite meant. I had a day, maybe two to live, but I didn't want to die. I fought with him. And the gun went off. I killed him. I killed a good man. He was trying to help, and I killed him. Do we keep it a secret, though? Like, how long do we have to survive with this bite? After Sergeant Hester's death, things got blurry. I slept out. I slept beside his body. Bit creepy. A little bit creepy. Waiting for the fever to start. Waiting to die, but it never came. Maybe we're immune. Maybe we're special. We are a retiree, after all. I snuck my way out of town. I was worried that there'd be some repercussion for killing a soldier, but everyone was too busy to care. I've been working my way east through the suburbs on foot, scavenging what I can, uh, and avoiding zombies and humans alike. Well, hello there, Diane Moon. It's been two years since the outbreak, so we're now in 2016, guys. We've tr travelled a year, like, well, quite a while in advance. I've been keeping to myself moving from place to place. I guess these are the people we're going to have in our team, I'm, I'm hoping. I don't want to be alone. The few people I take up with seem to disappear or die before long, but I met this woman, Diane. She's different. She wants to stop running, to settle down and build something. I'm going to help her. Nice! Diane found us a small town up in the Cascade Mountains named him. Lots of food and supplies. Few... Few Z, what the hell does that mean? Uh, we found a couple of other survivors and walled off a few city blocks to start. So what you do is you start off with a few little parts of the town and then you build your way out and you build up your people and yeah. No more living in fear, hiding like animals. It's time to make a stand. It's time to rebuild. Okay, so we'll keep our name Snookerkabalim. Uh, pick your difficulty. We'll keep it on normal for now because this is the first time I'm playing it, obviously. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Now. Okay. I have turned off the music, by the way, guys. I just thought I'd let you know that. Um, just because uh, the music sounded pretty epic. Um, like, pretty cool music. And I didn't want there to be any copyright issues on YouTube, etc. So, there is good music in this game, okay? It's not like a silent game. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, Danny. 
This town seems, has seen better days. It's overrun by the undead. No power, no running water, no food. Uh, apart from what we, what we scavenge or grow ourselves. Drag the map to look around. Oh. Okay, so I can move up with W, S, and D. Uh, drag the map to look around. Oh, you can you can left click the map and drag it around. Uh, or pinch to zoom. We're safe in our five reclaimed buildings. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so these are the buildings we currently own. That guy looks a bit scary, if you ask me. I think we should kill him. Uh, but the darker ones outside are teeming with Zed. I guess Zed are zombies, which is a new name. I've never heard them called Zeds before, have you? Um, click a building for more info. Okay. Buildings outside the fort may contain food, supplies, and survivors. But there are also Zeds out there. Uh, so watch out. Drag a survivor into a building to send them on a mission. Okay, so we used to spend our lives in these offices, chained to desks, drinking. So we can start mission look. So I guess we choose who we want to send. Every survivor learns one skill. Leaders by leading, builders by building, and so on. They can change by training at a school. You're special, Danny. So you can improve all five skills. Retiree, I'm special. Okay, right. So, I think if I go back, and I get myself... Once we've reclaimed a building into our fort, we can use it for housing, farming, defense, and other things. Our goal is to reclaim 15 buildings. Okay, so this is our office at the moment, guarding the fort. 0% danger, 13%. Now, I'm going to try dragging myself into this farm. Uh, now, there's three zombies there by the looks of it. Uh, add this building to our fort faster with better builders. So... We've got to go there and kill the three zombies first. Now, that's quite a lot of zombies. So, I'm thinking maybe we go to somewhere with less. There's three in there as well. What about this place? There's only two in there. Game pop. We could go... Neutra that one doesn't say if there's any zombies. So, there could be one in there. Oh, there's a nice little farm here. Four zombies there. Uh, we can recruit someone from here, though, which is pretty cool. Um... Can we send more than one person? We can build. We can guard the city. What can we build? Demolish for materials. We can build an apartment. Or we can build a farm. Now that says that it uses bricks. And I don't know uh, I don't know where our resources are. Um, but you know what? I think we should try and get this little farm down here. So if I send him. Clearing out stray zombies stops them from becoming massed hordes. But until you reclaim the building, new zombies will start to keep coming back. Can we also put her in there? Click a stack of survivors to spread them apart so you can... Okay, so we can... So we go, we're going to have them doing the same thing. I'm guessing... Yeah, look, they're killing the zombies. Should we send this guy in as well? I wonder if it moves quicker if there's more people in there. We could get this guy. How many How many people are in that farm? Three zombies. Okay, go, man. Go. Let's send those two up there. Zeta everywhere. Drag a soldier, red, out of the fort and pick the gun icon to kill zombies. Do it regularly so they can't grow. Okay, cool. Well, so far, this game seems pretty good. I think it will take me some time to get used to, but it's pretty cool. So what you've got to do is you've got to claim, as you can see here, we've got our five claimed buildings and there's this wall around them currently, which means that they're safe. Um, so we can actually make time quicker. No? Oh, yes, we can. Adjust the game speed via the clock icon at the bottom right. If you switch it to paused, you can play, but in turn-based mode instead. So there's turn-based mode if you'd rather, which is pretty cool. So let's... Let's make it really quick. Okay, so let's go, let's push stop and go back to turn-based mode. Reclaim 10 more buildings. Okay, so we killed both zombies in both of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself, Danny Allen. Someone's defending this building, but there are no mass zombies nearby to defend from. Drag this survivor. Okay, so if I drag... Now, it said we could split them, didn't it? 
There we go. Right, I want to put myself into here, and I want to reclaim this building. If a building is beside our fort and zombie free, it is safe to reclaim. Uh, builders will get the job done faster. Well, I'm a builder, which is pretty cool. So let's let's drag this guy up there and reclaim that. Wow, that's pretty. That's pretty loud. Let's turn down those sound effects a little bit. There we go. Uh, so can we actually see what these guys are? Like, I want to see what our crew... Oh, here we go. Diane Moon. What is she? Because I'm currently a builder. I'm a retiree. Immune. I won't die from a zombie bite. Okay, that's pretty cool. So what's she? She's a devout. Extra happiness from churches none from bars okay so we don't want to set preferably we want to try and reclaim a church for her lewis edwards well we know nothing about this guy he's pretty shady if you ask me liam team player improved skills when on a mission with at least three survivors okay and this guy if we've got loads of religious people with us Research projects can give different fort-wide bonuses for best results assign engineers. Oh, that's good. Build bars, schools, churches, labs, survivor management. See happiness, relationships, and talk to survivors. Okay. Factions. Other factions have their own forts here. Uh, in Squirrel And they aren't necessarily friendly. If they like us, they'll send trading convoys. Okay, if not, watch out for raiders. Okay, so we haven't met any other factions yet, but there are other people out there. So we can see our resources as well. We've currently got produce per day, two plus from farms, use per day, five. So we're losing free food per day. We've got 44, so we need food. So we need to concentrate on food first. Uh, we don't have any explosives, it says zero. We've got 16 material. Okay, so we really want farms first. Um, so it's quite a detailed game. At first, I didn't, I wasn't sure if it was going to be uh, de like very detailed because looking at pictures and stuff, it looked quite. Um, you know, oh shit! When Zed gather beside our walls, they turn into a dangerous mass horde. It will attack soon, so better post someone on guard duty beside it. Soldiers make the best defense. Well, she is guarding it. Let's send her up there. So they're both on guard duty. Okay. So hopefully... Hopefully uh, we, we get these two farms. Okay, nice. We got them both. Oh, thank God. I thought it was the end. I thought we failed. Hey, looks like we're still alive. Good start. Remember our goal here in Squalamine is to grow our fort to at least 15 buildings. Okay, well, we claimed two, so that's seven. I actually thought that was like a death screen, which is why my face was probably like... Because I thought, holy crap, if I've died already, like I had someone on guard, that would have been, that would have been bad. Okay, right, so we've got our farm. Uh, start me farms can produce two food per day and provide valuable vitamins you can't get from canned spam farming here increases the yield so if we send this bloke over there and get him to farm and we get this guy over there to farm Okay, so we're currently producing six from our farms, plus an extra 2.3 because the farmers are there. Uh, and we're using five, so we're gaining food now. Great. This is fantastic, guys. We're gaining food. Okay, so what we need to decide now is, do we, do we go for businesses? In fact, let's give, let's give this woman some time off. Let's send her to the police station and... Oh, so if you send them to houses, you can give them some relaxed time. Okay. Well, that is a really big plot. You have the best chance of finding food in houses, grocery stores, places like malls, 
have the best equipment, scavengers find more stuff faster. Okay, well, let's see how many zombies are in there. Six. Six zombies, but we can scavenge from there. I'm wondering, though, if maybe we go to the houses. We can either go to businesses, or we can try and go to houses. I also think that it would be good if we claim in blocks. So, for example, here, like, do you see, like, there's a rectangle there. We need to kind of claim widget co. Um, which would be pretty cool. So, how many zombies are... Eight zombies? Holy shears! Eight. Eight. Okay, widget co is dangerous. Highly dangerous. What about this one? Six. Oh, we can hunt for a steady supply of... Oh, so you can hunt in there. They're like deers. How many in there? Six. As a retiree, I'm not sure if I can do that. Doesn't say about that one. What about this one? Five zombies. Okay, well, we could... Uh, you know what? We're going to try it. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're then going to... I like the fact that you can pause it, set it all up, and then set it to go. Um, right, okay, here we go. Hopefully, we don't die. Our farmers are farming. Hopefully... See that smiley face on the left? Oh, there we go. Smiley face. That's the average happiness of our survivors. If it's low, people might refuse to work or worse. Churches, bars and time off make people happier. Okay. Well, we're going to have to wake her up. We're going to have to make her guard because it's getting dangerous now. I'm going to put myself over here to... Oh, let's scavenge that first. And let's send this guy over there to guard from there. Because there's a lot of zombies there. I'm getting very, very worried about that. Very worried. Okay, so I'm scavenging currently. Ooh, bad dreams. Diane Moon has always suffered from insomnia. So we sent her to rest and she can't even sleep. And it's been especially bad lately. Though to be fair, that whole affair with the zombie hiding in her closet probably didn't help. My gran has taught me an old herbal remedy we could try. Sure, it might have been what finally killed her, but at this point, I'm not sure it could make things worse. Uh, well, we could try giving her the tonic. It might kill her, though. It might. Should we do it? Well, the concoction got her to sleep, but she's been acting a little weird since. Not the creepy watcher in the shower sort of weird. More the climbing onto the rooftops and crawl... Call it courting call, like a rooster every morning. Sort of weird. Eccentric but happy. Okay, well, she's. We've made her happier. Which. Gustav! Can you believe people are still trying to make money these days? This funny little trader named Gustav has parked this heavily. Oh, it's me saying this. It's not Gustav. Okay. This funny little trader named Gustav has parked his heavily armed caravan at the field just outside our walls and has been calling to us on a bullhorn to come over and experience his amazing deals. Maybe we should send someone over to trade with him. He might even have some ramen noodles. It's been so long. Okay, cool. So we survived. That is really loud, though. That was really... Okay, so... No sweat. Did you know the undead can't swim? On a related note, we've got a swimming pool we need to empty now. Do we actually have to empty the swimming pool? That'd be crazy if you did. What can we actually build? Replace this building with something else. So you can turn them into farms and apartments, which is pretty cool. Hobby car. I'm not sure. This game's crazy. Like, the, there's so much more in it than I thought there was going to be. I'm not sure what to do with Diane Moon. I found her shoving the remains of some old muscle car through the front gate this morning. Seems the thing caught her eye and she's determined to try and get it going again. That could be awesome. We could then have a car to drive around. I suppose it could be good learning experience for her. Should we give her time off to try and get it working? Uh, maybe... 
she'll get some... So do we let her fix it? Let's let her fix it. Diane got it to run once for about two blocks before the engine burst into flames. Taking the rest of the car with it. Too bad we didn't have a proper workshop for her to use. On the bright side, she had a great time working on it. And that's what really matters. Okay, so... Okay. Oh my god, we're being attacked by loads of things. Okay, so we're going to send her to guard there. Farm bonus. I'm not sure where they came from, but a whole bunch of new plants have sprouted in our farms. Okay, so I'm going to pause this for a second because I think zombies have gotten into here. Oh, maybe they didn't. Maybe, because I know that we've got, like, um, defences around the wall and stuff, so maybe it was okay. Uh, so I'm going to send her over to here. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send... That guy over there to farm. And then she can defend here. I've nearly scavenged that, which is great. So we're finding this pretty easy by the looks of it. Like, no complaints. Right, let's put myself over to there. Too many zombies. So we've got to kill the zombies again. There's only one though, so that should be pretty easy. Zombies are massing at our walls. They'll attack the weakest adjacent building soon. The danger icon in the bottom left shows how bad it will be. Well, that does look pretty bad, I've got to say. What I'm going to do is then I'm going to send her... I'm going to turn him into defense. Because... I'm going to send them both up there, because I have a bad feeling it's going to be a bad one. Stop thief. Liam Asher just caught a stranger poking through our stores. An older man with wiry hair. Why has he got a knife and looking so creepy? A face smeared with grime and a stench coming off him like you wouldn't believe. When Liam confronted the thief, the man grabbed the hammer. The man grabbed hammer and bolted out of the fort. Should Liam follow him? It might take a while. Should we let him? He has got our hammer. You know what? Let's do it. Thanks for watching this series. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to give it a like. And if we reach 500, I will release the next episode early. If you are enjoying this series, be sure to comment in the comment section below as well. And let me know any tactics or tips that you guys like. You can also find out more information about the game in the description below. Remember, this was my first playthrough of this game, so I have learned a lot through the next few episodes.